Good evening and welcome to our worship here at Zion Lutheran Church in Loveland, Colorado. I'm Pastor Joel. I'm one of the pastors here. And it's a joy to be able to gather, be gathered here on this Wednesday evening for this brief devotional worship uh, as we lift our voices. During this season, we have been focusing on a number of hymns and songs that are some fav favorites of folks here in the congregation as they share a little bit about why those hymns and songs are their favorites. And today we get to hear from Julie Wilson as she talks about the hymn, This Is My Father's World. This is the next to the last time we're going to be doing it with this theme and, and on this Wednesday for a little while. Next Wednesday is the last Wednesday in July. And for a little bit, we're going to take a break from the Wednesday evening worship services because uh, starting August 9th, we're going to start offering an outdoor worship for fewer than 50 people. Now, I've heard, we have heard already just in the last week, quite a few people saying, I really would like to participate in that outdoor worship, but I'm not signing up because I'm saving that space for other people. Well, we've only had actually 21 people sign up. So if you are interested if you at all want to come to an outdoor worship to gather with other people, it, um, there, you can get that email or you can call the church office and hear more about what that's going to be because it's an abbreviated worship. Um, and, you know, we won't be able to sing, we won't be able to receive communion, but we will be gathered together to hear God's word. And so if you're interested in that, please make sure and let us know. Otherwise, we will have this first rotation with those 21 people and they'll all be able to come. But uh, um, regardless, this is a, a way that we want to be able to share and try to be able to gather people together. And during that time, we're going to take a break from these Wednesday night worship services um, to be able to focus our attention on that. So we're glad, though, for this evening, and hopefully you'll be able to gather again next evening. And we're, we're uh, delighted to be able to gather around God's Word and some great music. So we begin with our open lit litany. God is our light and our salvation, our, our refuge and, and our, our stronghold. stronghold. From the rising of the sun to its setting, we, we praise your name, name O God. God. For with you is the fountain of life, and, and in, in your, your light, light we, we see light. light. i 
I mentioned before this, uh, the hymn that we're going to focus on that Julie Wilson is going to share about is, uh, This Is My Father's World. And our first reading from the scriptures is from Psalm 19. And in this psalm, you will hear um, a very uh, mirror of what we'll be singing in This Is My Father's World. I love some of the words in the psalm that talk about um, how all of creation pours for forth speech and proclaiming God's good news, and yet there are no words because the voice of creation just comes in so many different ways. So I invite you to hear that, how we join in all of creation and praising God, and not always with words. So from Psalm 19. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day to day pours forth speech, and night to night declares knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words, yet their voice is not heard. Yet their voice goes out throughout all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In the heavens, God has set a tent for the sun, which comes out like a bridegroom from his wedding canopy, like a strong man runs its course with joy. Its rising is from the end of the heavens, and its circuit to the end of them, and nothing is hid from its heat. Our second reading that I think is, uh, is very important, it mirrors a, a bit of, especially the last verse of This Is My Father's World, contains a promise that I think is so helpful for us to hear in times like this. A promise that Jesus gives that we're going to hear from Matthew chapter 6. Jesus says, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your span of life? And why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven... Will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? Therefore, do not worry, saying, What will we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear? For it is the Gentiles who strive for all these things. And indeed, your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be given to you as well. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring worries of its own. Today's trouble is enough for today. We're going to hear a few words from Julie about this is my father's world and why this is a, a beloved hymn for her. Um, and I invite you to hear in both of those scriptures, the promise of creation that our God, our creator, has made all things. And God, if God, our creator, has made all things, God, our creator, will also have, hold each of us in the palm of his hands. A promise that we don't need to worry, but put our, our trust in that God. So now hear these words from Julie Wilson. Hi, I'm Julie Wilson. And tonight I'm going to share with you about my favorite hymn, This Is My Father's World. I grew up on a wheat farm in western Nebraska. 
When you live on a farm, the wonders of creation are just part of everyday life. And the unpredictability of nature is equally a part. Rain was so precious and hail was so disastrous. My parents loved the beauty of God's world. When farming responsibilities slowed down, we always hopped in the car and headed to the Colorado mountains for little three day vacations to enjoy the majestic wonders here. If a bigger opportunity opened up, we headed west to the various national parks. I'm sure this early and constant appreciation of the beautiful natural world around me led to This Is My Father's World becoming my favorite hymn. We sang this hymn so much on Sundays when I was a child that I knew all three verses by heart. Given how bad my memory is, that was a rare feat. Other than Christmas carols, this may literally, literally be the only hymn I know by heart. And even then, I can't recite the words for you without looking at the paper. When I started thinking more about This Is My Father's World and what I could say about it, I did a little research. It turns out the hymn was written by a pastor who lived in upstate New York. He took frequent walks along the Niagara Escarpment to enjoy the Overlook's panoramic vista and Lake Ontario. He would tell his wife he was going out to see the Father's world. This poem was published shortly after he died in 1901, and it was set to music in 1915. The tune is based on a traditional English melody. Since this hymn is so closely tied to my memories of growing up on a farm and the love of God's earth that my parents instilled in me, I wanted the congregation to sing it at my father's funeral service. I thought of this hymn as an old time hymn that everyone knew by heart. To my surprise, none of the Catholic members of my family knew this hymn. I now know that the hymn quickly became popular, but apparently in Presbyterian, Methodist, Lutheran, and Baptist circles. I started looking in old hymnals just to make sure the hymn was as common as I thought. And I found this cool old hymn in my basement, hymnal in my basement. It belonged to my great, to my grandfather. It was published by the United Lutheran Church in America in 1917. Not surprisingly, This Is My Father's World is not in this hymnal because it was only written in 1915. Next, I checked the Sunday School hymnal. It was also published by the United Lutheran Church in America. Much to my surprise, it's really old. It was published in 1929. So we know the hymn became popular quickly since it's in this hymnal. As I expected, I found it in the red service book and hymnal from my childhood, which was published in 1958. It's also in all of the subsequent Lutheran hymnals that um, my churches have used. I don't have access to any other church hymnals between 1919 and 1958, so I don't know for sure um, that it was when it was adopted in the Lutheran church services. Now I want to focus on the words of the hymn. The words call your attention to the many wonders of God's creation. And I live that on a daily basis on the farm in Nebraska. The opening stanza says, this is my father's world and to my listening ears, all nature sings and round me rings the music of the spheres. The verse goes on to mention rocks, trees, skies and seas, all the wonders God's hand has wrought. Every time I'm out in nature and take time to listen and appreciate my surroundings, I am overwhelmed by the beauty of God's creation. The second verse says, this is my father's world. He shines in all that's fair. In the rustling grass, I hear him pass. 
He speaks to me everywhere. If we listen, God does speak to us, even in something as simple as rustling, rustling grass. Craig and I have traveled a lot together, and we continue to be amazed at God's creation. Sometimes the world is over the top beautiful, like when you're in Colorado's mountains, or the mountains of Wyoming, or Canada, or Alaska. Sometimes creation is lush and wonderful, like in Kauai. Sometimes the power of, a, of nature is astounding, like at the Grand Canyon or Bryce Canyon. Sometimes creation is rather stark and harsh, like at Death Valley or the Badlands of South Dakota or the Andes Mountains near Aconcagua in Argentina. But God speaks to us through the infinite variety in his creation. The final stanza may be the most important, especially in today's world. This is my father's world Oh, let me ne'er forget that though the wrong seems oft so strong, God is the ruler yet. This is my father's world. Why should my heart be sad? The Lord is king. Let the heavens ring. God reigns. Let the earth be glad. How can you not love a hymn that reminds you of God's love and majesty? In spite of the challenges around us, we are called to remember the power of God our Father and to rejoice. Take care of God's creation, for God reigns. Let the earth be glad. Thank you. to
Let's sing together. Ooh, we lift up our prayers. Ooh, we lift up our prayers for the planet, for its people. For the church and its many shapes of sepals, Ooh, we lift up our prayers for the world and its frantic place, for the places that we find deeper space. Lord, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. My sincere thanks to Julie Wilson for sharing uh, her words about, about this is my father's world and for us to be able to share in that. 
Now go this evening with God's blessing. We'll be opening the chat feature on Zoom. If you want to greet one another uh, uh, in that way, you can do so.